Hello, a very good morning to students. Uh, I'm Dheeraj Muthiani, Assistant Professor, Computer Science Department, SIRT Bhopal College. Uh, in previous class, we just saw uh, project management. Uh, what is project management? And in today's class, we just move ahead with the project management concepts only. And we will just uh, see the recap of uh, the previous topics. So I told you what is project management, basically, which deals with the projects or the softwares which you are developing in the real time scenario, how the managers are uh, providing or working on these projects, uh, following different uh, processes, models. Okay, now that pro uh, project manager has to uh, do the uh, software economics. Okay, he has to improve the software economics by reducing the product size, the whatever product or software he's preparing. He has to reduce the size. He has to work on the different software processes. He has to work on team effectiveness. Okay, then he has to work upon the automation through software environments. Okay, and then talking about the principles of modern software management, he has to work upon those management principles. Okay, so coming back to your evolution of software economics, where you are having uh, models, cost models are available, which defines on the five parameters and those five parameters are your size process personals environment and the quality so talking about the size uh, size of a product uh, is already quantified in the terms of number of uh, inst instructions or the number of functions points required to develop the functionality then moving ahead the process process used to produce the end product the ability of the process to avoid any uh, non value adding activities such as your which you call non functional activities and they are the combinations of your uh, reworks bureaucratic delays and all the communications which are overhead apart from that uh, if we move ahead to the capabilities of this particular project management so you have to deal in the uh, what are the capabilities to achieve when you are working on the issues uh, when you are working on the applications domains or uh, the verticals uh, whatever project is in, such as if you are working in banking domain, or working on different uh, technology, uh, it might be any uh, third generation or fourth generation technology, which a project manager is dealing in. Then apart from that, uh, and, uh, when he will be dealing in the environment part, he has to cater to the tools and techniques which he is involving. Okay, and what all SDLC models he is following in that hierarchy then uh, um, moving ahead in this part you can have fifth point which is your uh, required quality of the product features so he has to deal with the features performance and the reliability how much the reliable project is to the current scenario and uh, in upcoming future so he has to leave the focus uh, he has to leave the future scope of that particular thing he has to do the customization of that particular project then apart from that he has to uh, deal in the adaptability part it means if certain requirements come from the client side what will be the needs of that particular uh, client to deal with okay so we have seen uh, these kind of evolution of software economics uh, now these five parameters combined together becomes the effort of the team or the teamwork okay whichever process they are following then apart from that to achieve the target so he has to keep in mind the ROI of, of that particular project. ROI means return on investment. Whatever the project manager has done the ROI on that particular project, uh, it might be the environment, it might be the tools, it might be the scenario, it might be the size, it might be the component, or it can be the customization capabilities of that particular project. Then how that particular project is getting managed what kind of scrum jira kind of techniques are being followed okay um if you talk about the models what kind of agile methodology he is following okay then after that what kind of peer programming he is doing and uh, also what kind of spiral model or uh, there are multiple models available which he has to deal with now to improve this economics he has to also focus on to reduce the complexity to improve the economics so first to reduce the size and complexity of what needs to be developed 
improving the development process how you can improve the development process then uh, using more skilled personnel okay so if a person who is having multiple programming languages he he knows each and every nitty gritty of the uh, project so that particular person or that particular resource will be very useful for that particular project manager okay in that scenario uh, then talking about the automation tools what kind of automation tools he has to perform such as if you talk about uh, the requirement gather gathering there are multiple uh, resources through which he can gather the information there is analysis methodology frameworks uh, wiring uh, you can say of that particular project and once you develop that particular project through uh, certain kind of debuggers linkers and translators or compilers so you have to use them and also once you integrate them you have to generate the uh, your machine understandable codes and source understandable uh, codes then afterwards you have to do the testing so you have to um, apply the automation kind of testing which is selenium based then uh, backing off how you can back off those particular products okay and uh, in in new, near future so he has to deal in that also then talking about your how these parameters are getting affected by the trends let's suppose the current trend of is is of uh, the fifth generation language or fourth generation so he has to deal in the abstraction part because the security is the at most importance for an organization then uh he has to deal in the uh, environment automation technologies or tools such as your these platforms are available and uh, then quality and reliability has to be catered with your strategic statistical tools such as your uh, fifth generation uh, platforms are there which are working on them then you have to focus on reducing the software product size how you reduce the software product size basically so once you uh, reduce the software product size you have to do the minimum human intervention into the particular system or software so you have to reduce the source language size necessary necessary to achieve the software solution now these are your four generation languages uh, through which you can reduce the size uh, by reducing the human intervention making it more automated um now these are the languages certain languages which were used as an ufps universal functional point so previously if you see the earlier languages such as assembly language c language and ada c these are having sols uh, uh, the line of codes are very huge so if you see in current scenario the line of codes such as in java or python they are very minimal okay Yes. so in this way you can see then you will be having object oriented methods or visual modeling so in current scenario each and every platform is getting um, you can say object oriented methods are there and uh, each and every language is working on those methods and if you do the visual modeling or you can say the architecture of that particular model has to be achieved through uh the the tools or frameworks which are available uh, which we call as called which we call as for visual modeling okay and um, then moving ahead to this uh, object oriented projects basically bosch was a person who gave the uh, few characteristics of uh, mm, this particular object oriented projects so here you have to look into the uh, collection of essential minimal uh, characteristics which you have to deal then you have to deal in the um, uh, you can say uh, cultural centric or communication centric or, or or you can say object oriented modeling effective use of those then existence of your strong architectural vision you have to deal in then you have to focus on iterative or incremental uh, development life cycle which is very much needed okay now moving to reuse part how you can reuse the components of your programming language 
to uh, to reduce the cost of the project by the project manager and uh, then you have to do the uh, ownership of that particular product quality features and transitioning to new technologies basically and uh, broad customer base is needed for the product profitability of that particular thing okay then uh, we have to see the cost and schedule of that particular project so project solutions are there uh, with uh, uh, months and amount so if amount is less so months will be less so once the project solutions are there multiple which are having multiple uh, cost and uh, time so you can cater to them then you are having improving software processes there are meta processes which are organization level policies and principles then you can say uh, you are having macro processes which are project based policies and procedures which are uh, specific to a certain uh, constraint uh, specific set of constraints then you are having micro processes which are project based which deals with the artifacts of the software process and you have the adequate quality and functionality as an economical and practical way okay so till this point we will cover and we will see other points in uh, next class and uh, thank you for joining this class please like share and subscribe this channel thank you very much